Hi, I'm Laura for Poker News with your daily news update. Yesterday was one of the busier days here at the WSOP with Day 23 featuring six bracelet events. After a 16-year drought, Josh Arier finally snagged his third bracelet when he won the 1500 PLO for just over $200,000. I was able to chat with Arier moments after his emotional win and you can find this interview linked below. As for today, five events are still in play, including the 10K Horse Championship, which is down to its final five players. Two-time WSOP bracelet winner Kevin Gerhardt bagged the chip lead, with Marco Johnson and Brandon Shaq Harris also still in contention for their third taste of WSOP gold. The popular event attracted 149 entrants to a field that generated a massive prize pool of over $1,300,000, of which $361,000 will go to the winner alongside the bracelet. Meanwhile, the 2500 Freeze Out No Limit Hold'em drew a total of 896 entries and after just two days of play, only eight remain. Leading the way off the final table is Carlos Chang, the only player to bag over 8 million in chips. The recent champion of the 1K No Limit Hold'em Flip and Go presented by GG Poker, DJ Alexander, fell in 17th place before the last break of the night after he lost his chips against Chang in an all-in pre-flop pot for a flip situation. Elsewhere, we reached the final table of the 1500 Raz. Charles Sin takes a comfortable chip lead into his first ever WSOP final table, while Brett Feldman sits second in chips. Sin and Feldman have tough competition, however, as they are the only two players at the final table who have never won a WSOP bracelet. Day two began with 98 players out of a starting field of 311, with all their sights set on making the money. Play will resume at 2 p.m. today, where they will play down to a winner. Day 1A of the 1K Double Stack No Limit Hold'em has also come to an end. All of the entries started with a total of 40,000 chips, and this event attracted a massive 1,937 entries on Day 1A, with 506 progressing to Day 2. Some notables that bagged for the day include Maria Ho with 103,000 and Barry Greenstein with 68,000. Day 2 is set to resume play tomorrow, Sunday, October 24th at 10 a.m. Another day one was completed in the 3K six-handed limit hold'em that saw a total of 162 players take to the felt. By the time all was said and done, only 78 players bagged up chips, with Ray Henson leading the charge. Henson ended the day with a total of 243,000 chips, the only player with a stack over 200,000. Henson has racked up five total caches thus far in the 2021 WSOP, including a final table appearance in the 1500 dealer's choice event where he finished in third place. Henson is still seeking his first ever bracelet however, but he has put himself in a good position to get the job done. Anthony Zeno, who is currently second in the player of the year race, bagged 138,000. Some other notables to keep an eye on heading into day two are Dan Zak, Mike Maduso, Robert Campbell and Julian Martini. The action will resume at 2 p.m. today. And moving on to what's new for today. Two more events are kicking off. Day 1B of the double stack No Limit Hold'em began at 10 a.m. while the 10K PLO8 handed championship is due to start at 3 p.m. And that's it for today. For all live updates on all the aforementioned events, keep watching pokernews.com. Our coverage of the WSOP is powered by Club GG.